Welcome back for another episode guys. It's Monday night and uh, right now I'm just actually getting some things done underneath the car. I had to remove the remainder of the e-brake cables and I took out my shifter that I had in there. So that's removed and now pretty much I have a open canvas underneath the car. So there is a couple spots that I've actually discovered that do have a little bit of rust damage. I've already done one type of a patch repair with a small weld right here. This little plate that did have a hole in there before. I don't think I have another spot like that that I have to really worry about. There might be one right here on the edge underneath where the rocker would be, but uh, I guess I'll just kind of grind things out, out of the way and see if I unveil anything and I'll get to that. All right, so it's a little past 1.30 in the morning right now and I just finished painting the underbody completely. I still actually throw on the rubberized undercoating, but that's gonna be something I'm gonna do probably later on. Right now, I'm just letting this dry and in the afternoon tomorrow when I come home from work, I'll show you guys what it looks like in the daylight. It was pretty hard to see because of the dimmed light that I have here in the garage. The amount of work that went into this underbody in the middle section was nowhere near like I did with the rear and the front end with the engine bay but it's something that uh, you know still had to be done just to keep everything nice and uniform underneath the car and uh, protected as well. So I just ended up taking my time a little bit with the scaled rust that developed near the rockers, uh, chipped away at that, and then I sealed that with POR15. And then over top of that, I just went over with a corrosion uh, resistant paint and pretty much did the entire section in the paint i just used about two cans of paint just to kind of seal it but then in the end i'm going to throw the rubberized undercoating which should seal it even more and protect it and uh tomorrow when i get home from work i'll throw on those wheels and pull out the car and see what it looks like in the daylight and i think after that we can actually start doing something else other than the underbody i know it's been kind of grueling to see the same video of me underneath the car and you know like it's not the most interesting of content, but it's something that kind of has to be done for this car to actually last a little bit longer. This was in pretty bad shape. When I bought this car, I didn't honestly believe it was that bad underneath the car. Mind you, the car was on a trailer and I couldn't really get underneath the car that easily, but yeah, it's something that you obviously deal with if you buy a 20 year old car almost and especially at 300 bucks, you know, it was $300 for a reason. It was in pretty fair. It was in pretty bad condition, um, but I didn't mind the challenge clearly. So it's, it's it is what it is. So I'm going to keep on uh, plugging away at this and I'll see you guys in the afternoon tomorrow. Guys, the Honda's out of the garage on the driveway and things are looking awesome. The temporary uh, wheels that I have here, those are just gonna be on during the entire process of bodywork, so I'm not too concerned with getting any overspray on them. The interior of the car does need a little bit of attention when it comes to some rust spots. Uh, those will just get sealed up a little bit. I'm not too concerned with putting an excessive amount of time in there, so I'm not gonna overdo it in there, especially with the amount of time I've already put underneath the car. 
The next thing I have to seal up is these mounting points that I had for the rollers to actually wheeling the car in and out of the driveway before. Uh, those will just get sealed up with the POR and that'll be done. I want to thank you guys for watching today's episode. Please hit the subscribe button right there, helping me get to 100 subscribers. And I'll see you in a few days in the next episode.